Greetings guys, this is Stokerev, and today I've got a truly amazing replay for you. This is gonna be probably the best result on the channel yet. This game is played by Novokosi, a guy has been featured a lot on this channel. For the people that don't know, Novokosi is one of my closest Patoomate friends in this game called World of Tanks. And today he is playing the IS-7 for you. This replay has been sent to me, I think about a month or two months ago even, so it's pretty old already. Um, but immediately when I saw this replay, I promised Novokosi that I would feature this replay on the channel sometime in the future. I couldn't promise when, because I just didn't know when I fancied making a video on this. But today is the day, and you're going to see what he is going to achieve in this tier 10 Russian heavy tank that is called the IF-7. A lot of you will know that the IF-7 is probably one of the best uh, yeah, tier 10 heavy tanks in the game. Uh, especially for beginners, but if you have a good player like Novokosi who knows to handle his tank well Then you've got just a recipe for a good game so to say as we can see Novokosi decided to go to the yeah so-called medium flank on the map called highway because uh, I think he wanted to avoid maybe the enemy tier 10 heavy tanks like the ice 4 on the mouse in the city So he decided to go towards the medium flank and it is certainly paying off right here He is just fighting a crap load of enemy tanks <coughs> With that missed shot on the 1390 unfortunately he doesn't get another shot in but let's see if he can make up for his Yeah, maybe aiming mistake so to say but he finishes off the 1390 cleanly this replay is from 9.19, so if you see a, a 1390 like that, you just know that it's an old 1390, so to say. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this replay is from 90.19, just keep that in mind, that is what I'm supposed to be saying. As we can see, Novokosi is on the front lines here, on the medium flank here on highway, and he's pretty much the only guy that is doing something to be able to uh, fight off the enemies that are situated here in this area. If we take a look at the map, we can see that the city is pr yeah, looking pretty bad, as we can see. A lot of the enemy uh, tanks are overwhelming. I think it's one of the only tier 10 heavy tanks on Novokosi's team. Uh, and he's getting overwhelmed by the tier 10 tanks, so to say. And there he goes, the T-57 heavy gets taken down. Meanwhile, Novokosi takes down an STA-1 on the enemy team. But he's still got a Yak Tiger and a Ferdinand in front of him. So he's got his work cut out from here. Let's see what he can do. Novokosi just aims a shot cleanly into the hull of the Yak Tiger. Of course, as the Yak Tiger was uh, yeah, pointing down, he's shooting up on the plate of the Yak Tiger, the upper plate, which makes the effective armor thickness a little bit thinner, so he can easily penetrate it with his standard ammo. Uh, in addition, the Ferdinand of the Ferdinand, the Yak Tiger has got the hull of the Tiger too, so that should have around the 212. Uh, effective armor thickness yeah 212 millimeters is what I meant to say so with a standard ammo we should be able to go through the upper plate of this Yak Tiger but there's another Yak Tiger here and as we can see hitting the upper plate is not really an option here so he has to go for the superstructure because that's the only part he can penetrate unfortunately he's going to need his APCR rounds for that well if you take a look at his ammo loadout he doesn't have many rounds left in his tank whatsoever at least not many AP rounds so Dapping the two key here is yeah, not really that big of a deal uh, And he has to of course lower the numbers because he's pretty much the only one that is really doing something here on this flank That one ten is just yeah sitting next to him bouncing shots of that hold down Yak Tiger right there But the city has been lost as we can see on the map the tank destroyers on this team are deliberately trying to defend the base But unfortunately, they're not going to succeed. I can tell you that already so Novokosi is pretty much on his own right now against this entire flank. The Ferdinand just bounced a shot off him. The Egg Tigers luckily are pretty low on health. So he just had to, has to whittle them down. Oh, and there's a surprise. Stritzwagen ends one as well. So yeah, he's got his work cut out for him right here. The other flank, as we can see, is only down to a Stritzwagen 103B. The Stritzwagen fortunately manages to take out another tier... Uh, tier what, what is it? The tier 9... Heavy tank. Uh, the Ferdinand also puts a shot into Novokosi, which is pretty weird. As the Ferdinand has got the stock gun. Uh, so it's pretty sp yeah, special that he went through the IS-7's upper plate. But as the Ferdinand was shooting down on his upper plate, 
uh, yeah, the angle that got decreased and the effective armor thickness wasn't as thick as, you would have, as it would have been when you shoot it from just the horizontal plane. But, as we can see, the other flank has fallen. And that's when Novokosi decides, I have to go in right now. I can't just let this flank uh, yeah, overwhelm me as well. Because that's the thing when you gotta do in World of Tanks. When you see one of your flanks uh, is lost, the best thing you can do is try to take the other flank as quick as possible. Because that's your only chance to be able to uh, yeah, not get overwhelmed by the enemy team. And that's exactly what they're doing now. So Novokosi's only got a Yak Tiger left on his team. Luckily he can take down this S1 hopefully. So it's a 3 versus 2. Unfortunately the Yak Tiger is on really low health. And there he gets taken out. As we can see the enemy tank have got a clear line of sight in towards his cap circle. But this is a no cap kill all situation. Which means that the enemy team is going to try and hunt Novokosi down. Um, if they would have done that in a smart way. Uh, they would have succeeded. But we'll see how that goes just now. I'm not going to spoil too much. So the enemy tanks that are left are two T-34s and a mouse tank. The mouse tank a very powerful tank in this, yeah, in this date as we know. Because it has been nerfed a little bit. Because it was overbuffed, I think, in patch 9.17.1, if I'm not mistaken. But still, the mouse is a pretty good position. The T-34s aren't really a problem if they are showing their health towards Novokosi, which you can easily penetrate. He's only got APCR rounds as, yeah, non-HE ammo left, so to say. He puts two shots into the T-34, and now the other T-34, uh, yeah, makes himself known, so to say. He is full health, unfortunately, so Novokosi is really going to have to be conservative of his ammo here. Uh, he has to try and uh, save as much ammo as he can, because he doesn't know what the HP of the mouse is. For all intensive purposes, the mouse could be on 3000 hit points still. Oh, he misses one of his shots. That's gonna be really, really bad. Hopefully, that's not going to bite him in the ass. Uh, yeah, in the future, but we'll see how it's going to go on. Puts another shot into the T-34's hull. The T-34 is now whittled down to less than half of his health. Let's see what Novokosi can do. If the T-34 gets a shot <coughs> on the lower plate of Novokosi's IS-7, IS he's going to be able to penetrate. Luckily, the T-34 just fires on the move and bounces. Um, he, unfortunately, is going to take him down now with another round because he's on 200 hit points. And therefore, he loads an HE round, which is the right choice. The chance was pretty low, I think. I'm not going to be very sure about that. But I didn't think the, sh the, the chances of him killing the T-34 with a uh, 200 alpha damage HE shell which was not going to penetrate was very high. But he did it. So that's very good. Because now he's only got three shots left. And he's going to need one at least to be able to kill this T-34 on the enemy team. And if he doesn't cock it up, he's still got two shots to be able to try and to kill the mouse on the enemy team. Unfortunately, we don't know what the health uh, of the mouse is yet. Hopefully, we'll come uh, to know that really soon. Let's see what we're, what's going to happen right now. Novokosi thinks no time to waste. I gotta hunt down this guy because that's what he probably doesn't expect. And that's exactly what happens. Novokosi now up to an amazing result. Nine kills with over 9,000 damage done. More damage than I've ever been able to do in this game. And this was probably his most damage game ever as well. Also, he did almost 6,500 damage blocked by his armor. So that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's what the i7 is for, right? So now he only needs to hunt down this mouse on the enemy team. Where is he going to be and how much health does he has? Oh my god, there is the mouse and he's only got 193. Be conservative of your ammo. Oh, shit. Okay, he's gotta be really, really shaking right now because he's only got one HE round left. Uh, because he bounced his last APCR round. Killing the mouse with this HE shout is possible, but he's going to have to aim it really well and hit a thin armor plate on the mouse. Well, thin armor plates, they're aren't any whatsoever but he's going to have to avoid hitting spaced armor if he wants this HE shell to do any kind of damage what is he going to do and what is the enemy mouse going to do it's pretty pretty tense stuff he's a one shot <coughs> the mouse is a one shot right now let's see what is going to happen no of course he thinks I gotta go for it there's the mouse and he fire oh my god no of course what happened there oh what are you doing oh my god what just happened 
You've got to be kidding me. Novokosi, first of all, my commiserations. It is very unfortunate that you didn't manage to win this game. But winning is not the only thing that matters. Just look at these scores. What matters is that you tried your best and that this was just an amazing replay all round. And therefore, you should be very happy with this result. 9 kills and 9,000 damage is something that I doubt I will ever get in World of Tanks. What hurt me the most while watching this replay was you having to give your life away towards the enemy mouse at the end of this game. But I do have to give you some credits for that as that was a very sportsman-like thing to do. Although this replay didn't come to a positive end, I hope I did make this video come to a positive end. And that you enjoyed watching it as for everybody else watching. If you're watching this video right now and you want me to take a look at one of your replays, that is entirely possible. I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays towards me. Send them in by using the instructions on your screen right now and I will take a look. Maybe your replay might even end up on to the channel someday. That's the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did then please leave a like as i did put a lot of time into making this video and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see each and every one of you in the next video bye guys